the Houston Comedy Film Festival Uncut Edition. And I am super, super, super honored, excited to be talking to Belle Guillory. She is a rock star. Her and Janari Rambo, both of them together. I want to give both of y'all the credit um, for everything y'all have done. And uh, Best Proof of Concept Award and Best Director. For God Be With Us. Amazing. I'm going to show everybody the trailer, but can you tell everybody about this particular film? Yes, of course. So God Be With Us follows the journey of the teenage daughter of a megachurch pastor as she navigates public high school for the first time while dealing with intrusions from her family and even the good Lord himself. <laughs> Man, absolutely amazing. And I know that everyone at the festival absolutely loved watching it. And I got lots of comments and feedback from different people that really enjoyed it. What inspired you to create this? Oh, wow. What a great question. Well, a few things actually inspired me. One, growing up, um, I'm the eldest of eight children. Um, same mom, same dad. Yes, grew up in the same household. Mm -hmm. And um, we grew up on Christian values. My father is a pastor, was a pastor. He's no longer living, but... Um, was a pastor. And one thing I always enjoyed doing with my family was watching Black sitcoms, literally from Sister, Sister to Fresh Prince of Bel-Air to Family Matters, like just those heartwarming, feel good shows that you can actually feel like you're seeing yourself in yes. those families. And, you know, there came a time that there was a gap where there was like no black family like comedies. It was really only blackish, was really the only one. And I was just like, man, I wanna bring that back. Like I wanna see something that my family could watch again, that we could laugh at again, you know, bring it back. Um, nostalgic, nostalgic watching it, that's how I felt. That was the tone that you said. Mm, that was that was the goal just to kind of bring back that 90s feel good because it's something you even said at the festival which I loved you were like we need this nowadays we need this nowadays and it's so true because like a lot of things we watch from the news to the media it is very dark it's a hard time right now everybody it's a hard time it is so it sometimes is. you just need that faith you know, based, I was even watching Angels in the Outfield the other night, you know, those feel good 90s things that just gives you hope again. So um, that's really what inspired me and my own family, my own family journey, you know, uh, growing up, you know, I was awkward, y'all, I was a little awkward. Jesus. <laughs> you know, those, those awkward stages, you know, I was far from being the cool kid. And so, you know, grew up in the church. I was church girl, church girl. And so though my personal experience inspired that because all I wanted to be when I was younger is like, man, I want to be like the cool girls in the TV shows and movies. Like, you know, like mean girls and all that stuff. You see the cheerleaders walking down. I was like, man. So I took my personal experiences, mixed it with like Black family sitcoms and also like my love for God. I feel like it's a love letter to God as well. My love letter to God, like, because throughout all my crazy shenanigans, I felt like he was with me just laughing at me. Like, girl, what you doing at that party? Girl, you know you shouldn't be over there. <laughs> you know? like, oh, you're girl, giving what me you doing? I'm gonna let you do it though. <laughs> yeah. You're giving me chills. Everything you're saying, you know, I'll, I'll even say that I saw myself in that character, the character that you played. Mm -hmm. And that literally was me. That's low key still me. <laughs> and well, Everything you said, I can definitely relate. And even when I think about transitioning into public school, when I had to beg my parents to go to public school because I watched too much of the Disney Channel and I thought that was real life. So everything yeah. you said, I was like, wow. Like I, I see myself in that character that she played. Wow, that's what it's all about. I love hearing that. We've been to a couple of festivals and I've heard women um, say it, men. Like, and it's crazy how the character Bell relates to people from all ages, demographics, races, um, whether you believe in God or not, you can also feel that sense of, you know, a coming of age story, awkwardness, just trying to fit in, really just trying to find your way in life, really. Absolutely, absolutely. And and actually, before, before I go into anything else, because we can talk about this for days, I want to also mm -hmm. talk about really in a way your involvement because not only were you the main actress and character 
amazing what you did, but you you were also very busy behind the scenes as well, producing. And I know you weren't the director this time around, but can you talk about everything that you do? Because you're very talented. You don't just act. Oh, they, that is true. I act, I write, I produce, and I do direct as well. I just didn't direct this one because, girl, there's a lot of hats. There's <laughs> a lot of hats. But, um, yeah, so I do wear a lot of different hats from... Yeah, writing, producing, directing, acting. Those are mostly my loves. Acting was probably one of my first loves with like singing, you know, growing up in the choir and everything like that. Oh, come on, come on. Um, And then my mom always said, you always had a gift for writing, like writing stories ever since I was a kid. And I think, you know, growing up with so many siblings, you know, you make your own playtime. And so writing just became that love as well, just writing stories that just, you know, just started flowing out. But with this project, yes, I wrote it originally as a pilot because I saw it as a TV show and people Friends in the industry were like, oh, you got to film it, like film a short film of it, put it in festivals so people can see your vision fully. I'm like, you know what? I know it's going to be a lot of work because I was kind of hesitant, but I felt the Lord was like, yeah, girl, come on, let's do it. It's like, okay, you know, let's go in. And so you need to stand up, by the way, too. I'm just letting you know now. <laughs> I thought about it. I thought about it. We'll so talk about like, it later. Okay, let's go in. <laughs> let's do this. So I wrote a short film version, um, you know, from a producer's mindset of locations, you know, to keep it more condensed. Um, and then, yeah, I went, hired the crew, got my crew together, um, mostly friends from film school. <laughs> and then, you know, got people, I found Jay Janari, who was our director. Um, I met her at a women in film event. Um, and we were literally the only black people. Well, I think there was one other black people, but we were the youngest in the black people, uh, youngest black people there. And um, and I asked her, she do it. She mostly has done um, music videos, commercials. So this was her first time also directing something on the narrative side. And so um, I was like, hey, let's just try it out. You know, let's do it. Let, let's see it. And so behind the scenes, yeah, I was, you know, trying to be in my acting bag. But then I also had a great friend, Daryl Henry. He's another producer on it who really held it down behind the scenes as well. Make sure things went smoothly so I could stay in Bell. Um, you know, like because when you're acting and then you're but I would also go back like, OK, what's doing this? Like, let's stay on schedule. We got to stay on schedule, y'all. We only got this location for a little bit. <laughs> so, you know, and you know, production schedule, getting the shoot dates, you know, it was a lot, but it was so rewarding at the end. And exactly what you said, I couldn't have done it by myself. Like, honestly, I had a great team from our cinema cinematographer as well, Shalomi Jacobs, very talented, and the other actors and actresses as well. Everyone did a fantastic job. The quality, the pacing, you, you, you have an excellent team. And I actually want to say, because the quality was amazing. How long did it take y'all to make this film? Um, well, we did it in three days. Mm -hmm. We originally wanted it in two days, but life is life. Life was life in schedules was scheduling and time was a dick. And so <laughs> uh, we ended up, we did it in a weekend. And then once we realized that we had to refilm some things like the bus stop scene the outside mm -hmm. scenes as you can imagine can probably be the most difficult mm -hmm. um did another weekend another day on a weekend maybe a month later and finished it out beautiful this is just the beginning for all of you and I love the fact that you know each one of you you went out of your comfort zone and you tried something new and not only did you create something beautiful I truly believe that you guys are making an impact Thank you. I really, truly believe that. Like you really touched me and every other person that I know that I've spoken to about it. Like we spoke about you yesterday. <laughs> oh. Yes. I just, I just wanted to let you know that. And um, I will happily share other people, your trailer. So that way they can see it, but great work. And what, what are your goals for, I know you mentioned it before, but for anybody that's watching um, and anybody that I may send this to, what, are your goals for you and your team and the outcome you expect of this and any other projects? And what are you looking for in particular? Okay. Um, well, 
with this project specifically mm-hmm. um to turn into a tv series that's really the goal um because everyone's always like bill where's the next episode bill where's the next episode we want more we want more and the crazy thing is this was just a proof of concept for it to be an actual series so you guys can see her go to school so you can see um um her dad at the church house because you know they moved to this new town so there's a lot of different elements a lot of more characters to bring in um to really build out that world so currently starting since Honestly, God told me to really go for it this year to start the pitching process. We've pitched to a couple of studios and production companies, um, just really waiting on a yes, honestly. And we're just trying to keep going. Everyone, we get great feedback from everyone. It's just about um, who's the right partner to do it, really. Who's the right people to really elevate this to that level where people can see it all over the world. It is on YouTube, but you know what I mean, like, I is understand. it Netflix? Is it a Hulu? Is it a cable? Is it... <laughs> Who mm. is it? So that for this particular project is the dream for that to really just expand it to the masses. For my team, they're so talented. Of course, more opportunities for them um, to fulfill their crafts. I know Janari is a, a director as well. Like I said, this was her first narrative, so she would love to get into more narrative as well. Uh, me writing, I'm continuing to write more stories um, to um, influence people in a positive way, to spread more messages that are in me. Um, this one was the first, but girl, you know, we got a pipeline. We got a pipeline. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it's just to continue to create and on a bigger scales, honestly. That's not going to be an issue for you. God is God, God 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 is gonna bless you. He's blessing you now. And so oh, I just wanted to say thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. And there's so much more. I feel like I would want to keep talking to you for like another hour and we can talk and talk, talk. I definitely want people to see you and um thank you for your time. I just want to say thank oh. you for your time <laughs> and thank you for even you. flying all the way down to good old Houston, Texas, and you and your whole family. I really appreciate that. That meant a lot. Oh, thank you, Rosalind. Thank you to the Houston Comedy Film Festival. It was a great experience. My family loved it. That was actually their first time seeing it, like, in person at a festival. Like, I had sent it to them, you know, seen them on YouTube, but they're like, it's nothing like actually seeing it on the screen. So I really appreciate that as well, like, the opportunity to screen the film. It was it was an amazing experience. So thank you. Thank you so much, Belle. And... I will see you next time. Come on. Hey.